This is Agua Cayenta Park. It's a lot of people don't know about this place. It's kind of hidden. It's like a little hidden paradise oasis in the middle of the desert. All around this is cactus, saguaros, mesquites. It's dry. And there are some sulfur hot springs that spring up here and make this little lake. And then the spring runs all through those trees all the way up there to where it originates and comes out of the ground. It's just really beautiful here. You are so handsome. Look at me. We call it a lake. I think a lot of you would just call it a pond. But to us, it's a lot of water. Our beautiful blue sky. I love Tucson. I love the desert. I love nature. I love the animals. I love the trees and the plants. I'm not quite sure about all the people coming here. <laughs> These hot springs, the water is very sulfury. So if you get it on your on your fingers or stick your hand in it and smell it, it kind of smells like a like egg. <laughs> Supposedly the sulfur in the water is supposed to be very healing. I haven't stuck it on more than a finger. So pretty. This place is so relaxing. What is it, Keith? I'm right here. All right, I see you over there. Keith wants to show where the water comes out from. This is actually a palm tree. <coughs> Just, said not to I bet go just in people there. just sitting on there for years looking at the water. You shouldn't, you shouldn't go in there because there's a bunch of poisonous spiders and everything in there. Scorpions, oh. bees. Where inside this tree? Yeah, inside there. It's hard These to imagine how I old this kids. spring is. I'm gonna go see what they're doing. They have this mesquite tree within this wall. It's a pretty old tree. It's also looking pretty dry, but it still has um, leaves. I'll show you what the leaves look like. The mesquite tree is really well adapted for living in the desert. It has these little tiny leaves, and what they do is, um, well, most leaves have little holes on them where they breathe through and um, trees with big leaves with holes on them when the sun hits them here in the desert, they lose too much water. These guys still have um, pores on them, but like if the sun's coming from this way, see the leaves face like that. Instead of putting their whole leaf to the sun, they go sideways so that each, both sides aren't directly in the sun. And so a lot of the native plants here are like that. They're these small little leaves that will try to avoid the sun. So anyway, I'm going to kind of jog down the little path to the other lake, see if there's any water in the other lakes. And then come back and that'll be the running for, the today, for today. Yesterday I did deadlifts, but I just did it with the pole, with half of the barbell pole. That, so that was six pounds, not very much, but um, I already see now my form is horrible. I really have to work on that. And then today is um, press pushes. Tomorrow is just plain running. And then, hold on, sweetie. And then Friday is squats. And then that's um, the plan for this week. But I have the typical type two body shape, which is if I go to the side, then you see my big belly fat. And this is the main thing I'm trying to get rid of to try to. Um, get a hold of the diabetes. I don't know if you guys have seen this before. This is, there's different forms. Some of them are more fuzzy. Some of them are like this. This one's purple. They say when, when they're purple, they're kind of out of water. But this is like a jumping cactus or choya cactus. And these guys, the choya buds are yummy. It's hard to believe that probably was like nice and lush and green 
like it was over there. That is a saguaro cactus. Those live for hundreds of years. We've got this invasive grass that's coming in and it is just taking over everywhere. They planted this stuff because it was hardy and it survived. And when people brought cattle, I think this used to be a cattle ranch. When they brought cattle, they would plant this so the cows could eat it. And they could eat it all down to nothing and it would come back. The problem is that now we don't have cattle roaming around here really to eat it. Maybe we should. This stuff burns fast. And there's places in Mexico that they had this stuff and these things have caught on fire and it heats up fast and super hot and it makes the cactus and the trees and everything else around here boil and it destroys the landscape. And so there's places in Mexico, it looks like the Saharan desert. It's just dirt. It used to be like this with cactus and trees, but this stuff caught on fire and it um, just sterilized it and someday may happen here and we won't have this beautiful desert anymore. Prickly pear or a puntia. Too bad there's no fruits now for you to see. It makes little um, like teardrop shaped fruits up on top. They're really yummy. And this one doesn't have it. Sometimes they'll have like a little fuzzy, like fuzzy moldy stuff on it. But if you see it and you kind of poke it around it turns red because you're squishing in the, the, these little bugs that are living in the in that white fuzzy stuff. And um, the Indians here use that for dye. And believe it or not, if you eat stuff that's red, I forget what the name of it is on the label, but there's a certain name like a Nestle Quick and some other things. It starts with a C, but it's likely those bugs. Um, people don't realize how much bugs they actually eat. I run very slow, but it allows me to run the whole mile if I want. It's more like a shuffle, but it'll get faster and I'll get faster. I had a problem with my muscles because um, I would overdo it on exercising. I had done like the 5K, I had done weightlifting, I killed myself on the treadmill. And I went to the doctor and the doctor was telling me how great I was and I was doing so so well. <clears throat> but I kept injuring myself. So now, like I said, I'm shuffling. I'm trying to take it easy. Um, but I had hurt my head a couple times. I hurt my back. I hurt my leg. I hurt my knees. And it would just piss me off. Because then I couldn't do what I wanted to do. So then I got defiant and was like, fine. I'm not going to do anything that I'm not going to do squat. So uh, I just stopped. I did the raw food and the juice, but I really wasn't doing anything else. And it made a big difference because then when I went to the doctor and they did my blood test, he said my creatinine levels were low, which he thinks it meant my muscles had just wasted away. And I thought that made sense because before people would always tell me how strong I was because I can lug in like the five gallon bottles of water and carry big loads in. And then it got to where I couldn't even carry those things anymore. It was too heavy and it was weak. I felt weak. So that's another reason why I'm taking it extra careful to begin with and try not to overdo it. Try to do something I can live with that has options I can live with. I think we're back in the park. Yeah, we're getting there. Because when I get hurt, I get discouraged. But I know I can't be weak like that anymore. It makes me pissed. I want to be able to kick someone's ass if I want. So I'm trying to get stronger. That's another reason I'm looking at CrossFit. Because um, I just want to get functionally stronger. And I, when I stopped exercising, I didn't want to do anything. I couldn't stand the way I felt. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't even want to walk down the street. My legs were weak. And now that's a lot better. I'm getting back to where I was before.